This is the ulna. Right? The ulna is one of the bones in the forearm. Um, it is the bone that's on the pinky side of the forearm. When you look at the top of the ulna, you can identify it because it has a U, right? A big U for ulna. This U that's at the top of the ulna um, articulates with the humerus. Um, the trochlea of the humerus sits right here inside this U. The distal end of the ulna articulates with the carpal bones here at the wrist. Looking at the top of the ulna, you have these two processes. The larger process, this top superior process, is called the olecranon. The olecranon. This is the process that fits into the olecranon fossa, the little depression that's on the back of the humerus. So this one up top is the olecranon. It's also this part of your elbow, the bony part that sticks out right here. So when you push your elbow down, like a little bony ridge here, that is the olecranon. The bottom little process here that's sticking out, the, the smaller of the two, is the coronoid process. Coronoid. In between the two, the little depression or notch that you see here is the trochlear notch. The trochlear notch is where the trochlea sits. The trochlea, remember, is part of the humerus. It sits directly in the trochlear notch. So we have the olecranon, the coronoid process, and the trochlear notch. The radial notch is just inferior to the trochlear notch. So if you look closely here, you'll see this big notch is the trochlear notch. If I just slide down from that a little bit, this little notch right here, you see this little smooth area? That is the radial notch. That is where the head of the radius sits. Remember that the radius and ulna sit together like this. And at the bottom of the radius, we had the ulnar notch where the ulna sits. But up here at the top of the ulna, we have the radial notch. So the radial notch is on the ulna. Um, again, it's where the head of the radius sits. So you can see the head of the radius is really circular and it sits just inside this kind of circular notch. So olecranon, coracoid process, trochlear notch, drop down, that goes into the radial notch. The majority, this long kind of thin part of the ulna is the shaft. And then this bottom part, the rounded part of the ulna is the head. So the rounded part is the head, the majority of the body is the shaft. Then finally, there's the styloid process of the ulna. We saw a styloid process also on the bottom of the, um, on the bottom of the radius. So if you sit like this and you look at the bottom of the radius and the bottom of the ulna, they both have a styloid process sticking down. Again, the, the, the little like bulges you feel on either side of your wrist here. They kind of go down around the carpal bones like that. So there's a styloid process of the radius, but also a styloid process of the ulna. So styloid process is the pointy part. Round part is the head. The long thin part is the shaft. The olecranon is the top process. The coronoid process is the bottom one. The trochlear notch is the notch in between those. Drop down a little, that notch is the radial notch. And that is the ulna.